Dayem. He is the program coordinator for the Middle East and North Africa Division of the Committee to Protect Journalists. Um, we are with Tony Berman in Washington, D.C. Can you talk about what's happened with Al Jazeera and the shutdown and what it's meant for journalists? Well, well, basically, what you said is, is a very good and succinct summary of what happened. Uh, <clears throat> what's amazing is what the Egyptian people uh, did in response to that. I was talking to people in Tahrir Square last night, and they said that, uh, that dozens of people had left the square and were getting as many extension cords as they could find. And they went and brought extension cords and receivers and dishes and plugged Al Jazeera into light, street lights. They managed, found a way to plug Al Jazeera into street lights. And as we speak right now, with a million plus people in Tahrir Square, people are watching Al Jazeera and Al Jazeera Mubasher, the two channels that Mubarak's regime, uh, in, a, in a futile attempt to, to maintain power, uh, tried to censor and tried to block from the Egyptian people. They said Al Jazeera was inciting. Clearly, the people in Tahrir Square feel differently about this. They are watching Al Jazeera now as we speak. And why is Al Jazeera targeted in particular? What do people otherwise, except for plugging into street lamps, um, get to see in Egypt? Al Jazeera is targeted primarily because, because it is the, uh, the most frequently watched station. Uh, and, and the Egyptian government uh, would like to censor everybody if they could. They can't. And so they went for the biggest target. Uh, and the easiest target, because it's, a, it's an Arab station, it's a station that broadcasts in Arabic, which is very different from CNN or the BBC or some of these other stations that are broadcasting in English or in other foreign languages uh, that aren't being watched by as many people on the street. But Al Jazeera is the primary source of information for people in Egypt and, frankly, elsewhere in the Middle East. And the Egyptian government uh, wanted to silence it. This is not just happening in Egypt. This is happening in Yemen and in Sudan and elsewhere. All these leaders are— uh, saying with a straight face, somehow with a straight face, saying that uh, all this unrest in the streets has nothing to do with their failed policies, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years of failed policies. But somehow, a news station that is merely reporting the news and transmitting images of what is actually happening on the ground is inciting a million-plus Egyptians in Cairo and millions more elsewhere in the country to, to revolt against a brutal dictator. Uh, it, frankly, it, it's, it doesn't pass the laugh test, and the people in the square laugh last night and this morning uh, have illustrated that with their with their deeds rather than their words. Um, Tony Berman, I wanted to ask you about the difference between Al Jazeera and the Arabic language and English language. But first, I wanted to turn to Wadah Khanfar, the 